Myanmar's military chief, Min Aung Hlaing, has vowed to deal decisively with, quote, terrorists fighting against his rule, whatever the cost. He made the remarks flanked by tanks and missile launchers during an Armed Forces Day parade. Now, the leader also promised that elections would be held when the country is stable. Armed Forces Day marks the 75th anniversary of the founding of its national army and the start of the resistance to the Japanese occupation during World War II. Hundreds of troops and armored vehicles rolled through the streets of Naypyidaw in a grand show of force. Myanmar has been engulfed in violence and chaos since a military coup in 2021. The conflict has killed tens of thousands of people and more than a million residents have been displaced. The army's chief, the army chief's sinister message to dissidents comes just days after the, U the US imposed fresh sanctions against the military. Uh, for more on Myanmar, CNA's Leon Waikit joins us. Waikit, Myanmar's military chief sending a very strong message. He's vowed to keep up with his government's crackdown on dissent in the country. The concern here is going to be of an escalation of armed violence. Is that what we're going to see? I think exactly is, and that's exactly what we're going to see. And I say this because, as you mentioned earlier, that he made a very strong threat against his opponents uh, today during the Armed Forces Day. If you recall exactly this day last year, he'd also made a very strong threat. He, uh, Army Chief Minang Lai had vowed to, and I quote, annihilate his opponents to the very end. And since then, we've been seeing allegations of mass killings and airstrikes reportedly conducted by the Myanmar army. But it's also very important to see these violence trends, not just from threat, uh, threats and speeches, but also by actions. Now, in recent months, um, the Myanmar army had been facilitating with the Chinese officials brokering peace talks along the Myanmar-Chinese borders. Now, this is, uh, some observers would say, a, a good point because, you know, they are maintaining peace along those borders. But on the flip side, it also allows the Myanmar army to redeploy their troops stationed along the borders to other areas like Sagai, Kayin and Kaya states where the, the fights are most serious and where the Myanmar army has no control of. So looking all, at, all the, at all these trends, it is quite safe to say that the threats of violence will very likely continue in Myanmar. Waikit, the country is in a state of emergency, an extended one in fact right now, but Min Aung Line has vowed that elections are going to take place, that they will be held. Observers have said that the conditions that the country is seeing now would prevent any kind of free or fair elections, uh, but there remains that fighting between the army, between uh, different political groups as well. Are we going to see elections anytime soon? Very unlikely. I mean, the Myanmar army has promised to hold elections to, to which the Myanmar people have, have rejected even the community. The international community have, have slammed the idea of holding elections. But we're not going to see elections held in Myanmar anytime soon because the army can use three reasons or some might say excuses to fall back on to delay elections for as long as possible. Firstly, if the country is not stable and secure, Minaula has said that they can't hold elections. Secondly, they've also now con uh, started to conduct population census countrywide. And this exercise is slated to finish only in 2024. So any planned elections that must tap the data of the population census will then have to be taken, taking place only in 2025. But the last uh, excuse or reason is that the Myanmar army chief has said that he wants to hold elections in every part of Myanmar. Now, in Myanmar's short history of holding elections, there have never been a case where every state and region is able to take part in an election, mainly because there have been conflicts in some ethnic areas. Now, in two Today's context, given that the entire country is on a revolution, the Myanmar resistance forces, the Myanmar people going against the Myanmar army, it's even more unlikely that there'll be elections held in every part of Myanmar. Waikit, thank you for that. Young Waikit there, reporting for us live.